Hi guys. <laughs> I'm actually trying to tidy up in here today, but um, I thought I'd just try and put together a lid motor style pulse motor. Now I've no doubt that lid motor will tell you it's somebody else's design because he's very good at um, giving credit to those who actually did the original but I'm giving Lidmo to the credit because it's his video that I'm following. Uh, it's his circuit, which he will tell you is somebody else's circuit. Um, I've actually put a variable resistor in there, or potentiometer, so that I can trim it. And I'm running it off um, two AA batteries there, so well, they're rechargeable, so that's probably about 2.4 volts. I could probably go a little bit lower. Um, but it's spinning away there happily. This is just the tube off of a cardboard tape. A cardboard tube off of sticky tape. Um, plastic lid with some magnets on it. Got a magnet at the bottom that's the holding the needle in place, and magnets at the top holding the needle in place at the top. You can see I haven't got it perfectly balanced, it's wobbling around a little bit, and I've got a coil of wire there on a sewing bobbin that I did for another project a long time ago. I did briefly try it with this little coil, but that didn't give me enough power. Or at least I couldn't get it working with that anyway. But this is going fine. So there'll be links in my video description to Lid Motors channel. He does lots of these. Oh, the bottom is just a cut, um, cork cut in half just to make it sit upright. That magnet at the bottom is held in place with another magnet underneath, and the one at the top is held in place with magnets on top, so they're just holding each other in place. The magnets on the plastic lid are holding themselves in place, one inside, one outside. I suppose I could stop it, couldn't I? Pull it out. So there's magnets on the inside, holding the magnets on the outside. And it just fits in there. I have to give it a bit of a blow to get it up to speed. Because it's unless it's going fast, it doesn't really go very well. Although I haven't said that, that seems to be going. It's difficult to tell because needle bearing like that is such low friction it goes anyway. I'll give it a blow. I suppose I'll finish tidying up. I've got the camera right next to it, just so you can hear. I was tuning it audibly. You can hear a squeak. That's the actual pulsing making the magnet 
or the needle slide on the magnet. thought that was interesting. <laughs> 